Good evening, everyone. Just out here enjoying a cigarette. It's a fairly cold night tonight. Got some friends of mine spending the night tonight. His name is Buddy, her name is Jill, their boyfriend and girlfriend. They lost their apartment because the pipes froze. So they started staying in their car and it's freezing out here at night. And I'm not gonna turn anybody away. So I'm letting them stay here. Uh, they went shopping to pick up some food. I picked up some food earlier, so they'll be back shortly. Uh, uh, got some Krispy Kreme donuts. It's hard to find around here. You usually got to go to Boston to get them. Uh, another box there. I don't know if you guys can see these or not. I'll bring them over in the light. They are friggin' delicious. <laughs> we got six dozen. So, uh, they're excellent donuts. <sighs> it's not bad. I spent $6 a box. So, um, that's not too bad. Uh, touch bases on what's going on tonight. Um, Sorry for the bed. I had a very difficult day trying to get rid of this migraine. Um, but to touch bases, what's going on? I won't be online that much tonight. Uh, I'm letting them have the bed. And I'll be moving that chair someplace. And I'll be sleeping in the corner on the floor. Uh, it's the right thing to do. I'm not going to separate boyfriend and girlfriend, and I'll be damned if I'm going to see him sleeping on the floor. And I sure as hell ain't going to see him sleeping in a car 10 degrees out. Um, I was told today by the hotel manager that they're not supposed to be here. However, under the circumstances and where the manager likes me, that it won't be a problem uh, as long as they're quiet. Um... Both of them smoke weed, so I told them that if they want to smoke, that's their business. They're adults. They can do what they want, but they've got to do it outside. Um, and it has nothing to do with me not being able to smoke it. I just choose not to. I gave it all up. Um, well, let me think. What else? Oh, uh, tomorrow afternoon... Um, I've got to take a long ride. I got to give Buddy and Jill a ride in the truck. Uh, we're going to northern Maine, uh, Mount Katahdin, and we're going to do some snowmobiling. Um, Jill's never been on a sled, so I told her, you know, as long as Buddy don't mind, I'll take her on the trail up north uh, for an hour or so, and 
let her try the sled out. What I mean by sled is snowmobile. Here in Maine, we call them sleds. But um, just to introduce her to snowmobiling and get her over the fear of it. Uh, there's a lot of uh, trails that um, I want to go to. There's a big trail in Canada called the IT Trail. Uh, it is a monster trail. It's long. <laughs> um, but uh, right now I have to uh, consider my job. I can't just up and pack up and go uh, for right now anyways. Uh, by the way, today uh, I got today off uh, with pay. My boss was extremely pleased with my work performance. So he gave me the day off. He knew I wasn't feeling good and I'm tired. Uh, I came back and I was laying down, going to get a couple hours sleep, and I got a phone call. Uh, buddy asked me, he said, uh, can I talk to you for a while? And I said, sure, come on over. And I explained exactly where I was at. So about 20 minutes later, I knock on the door, and they explain, you know, they're out on their luck. Uh, they're living out of their car. And I said, you can't be living in a car this kind of weather. And uh, I invited him to stay here for the night, get some rest, get some food, watch some TV, some movies, get a hot shower. Um, I know what you're all thinking, that I'm being too kind to people, but I disagree with that. Uh, growing up on the streets myself, I know what it means to, to be able to sleep in a warm place, to have a nice hot shower, you get a hot meal. And just relax and not worry about whether or not you're going to wake up in the morning. It's just the way I am. As long as people don't abuse that, um, I'm fine with it. Um, I'm going to cook some, uh, 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 whatever it's called, Thai sweet potato soup. I uh, never heard of it before, but I was told it's really, really good. And I'm going to mix it with uh i don't know how to pronounce the name of it so i'll just show you instead of me making a fool of myself trying to pronounce it fafali i guess it's called <laughs> um, i'm very fond of italian pasta and this is uh italian uh, so uh, it's one of the few things I actually know how to cook. And I'm going to put some uh, uh, red pack tomato. Uh, put that in it. And obviously we'll have... Uh, uh, I know it's wheat. Sarily, 100% whole wheat bread. And um, for dessert, we're going to have either uh, chewy granola bars, chocolate chunk, or we're going to have Krispy Kreme donuts. Um, not really sure yet. But uh, I myself, I'm going to have applesauce. I love applesauce, so I bought some. It's cinnamon applesauce. Um, I've always loved applesauce. They brought over a jar of peanut butter. Uh, and I don't care for chunky peanut butter. But anyways, sorry for the uh, cooking lesson here. That wasn't intended. <laughs> I guess I'm just overtired. But there's going to be a lot going on tonight. I'll probably be crashing on the floor probably about 3, 3.30 in the morning. Um... Set my alarm for 7 and get up and be to work by 8.30. Uh, go up and pick up my uh, advanced paycheck again. And then we're going to go up north to Mount Katahdin, hit the trails for a while. Be back here probably about midnight, uh, probably a little later. And after that, I've got to get some sleep and I'll be working uh, the rest of the week full time. Um, I'll be working 16-hour shifts for the next nine days. So you won't see me online a whole lot. I won't be playing poker a whole lot. Um, 
it's just going to be a lot of a lot of stuff going on i've got the opportunity to go visit my brother uh saturday afternoon um so i'll go uh visit him for an hour or two and we'll go for a ride and talk i haven't seen him in i think it's close to nine years now ten years so it's going to be uh a welcome experience um I guess the uh, family aspect of me never really gave up. Um, him and I had a fallout a long time ago, uh, close to 10 years ago, because of my drug use. I don't hide that. Um, but uh, I've calmed down a lot in my life. I've learned that life is too damn short for me to be acting like the macho fool but uh to make a long story very short um i feel very good i'm kind of tired but that's to be expected uh what i do with my coffee uh, disaster <laughs> uh there it is hiding <laughs> i drink a lot of coffee i go to mcdonald's a lot and i buy the uh mccafe coffee uh, i buy the large so um, i'm drinking about eight ten of these a day it's a dollar eight for one the refill is free so that's a good deal especially how much i love coffee um let's see what else do i need to cover before i shut this camera down uh, oh uh for uh uh monica um i noticed you've been watching my videos a lot and um, you asked me a question and I messaged you and I told you I'd answer as best I can. You asked who Ashley Austin is. Ashley Austin is a young woman that I met, uh, over in Bangor, Maine. And at the time she was, uh, the girlfriend to Andrew Collins, who ended up being very abusive towards her and he was beating her. Uh, claiming that he was blacking out, didn't realize he was doing it, which I don't buy. But anyways, uh, Andrew kicked her and I out of the apartment, and we became homeless. It was December 6th of last year. And uh, uh, actually, it was December 6th, 12 and a half months ago. Uh, but anyways... Uh, we ended up going from Bangor, Maine to Roanoke, Virginia, uh, to where she's still at. At the time, uh, she became pregnant, and she delivered a very beautiful baby girl, to which she named Fidelity. Um, I don't know how to answer the second part of your question, but I'll answer it as best I can. Uh, uh, she and I still together. Um, according to her messages, I believe we are, but uh, on her profile, it still says she's in a relationship. And I don't know when she says she loves me, if she really means that. I'm not doubting her, but uh, if she truly loved me, she wouldn't be in a relationship with somebody else. So there's... Uh, a lot of things I intend to do concerning that. Um, I've already talked to several people, and they all say the same thing, and I refuse to believe that. Uh, a lot of people tell me that she's just manipulating me. Um, but anyways, I'm not going to go into details on that. Um, I'll know within the next uh, several hours. I send her a video that clearly explained that if she did truly love me and she truly loved our daughter and she really wasn't done with me, then she stopped communicating with me other than two hours a week. And if she doesn't, uh, in a few hours from now, I will be removing her from uh, my Facebook, blocking her and removing her from my messenger and blocking her. And that'll be the end of it. Um, I noticed you uh, caught on to something that I messaged uh, you earlier 
that uh, I might very well be petitioning to gain full custody of our daughter. Um, I'm financially stable and secure now. I have an extremely high paying job. I'm working full time now. I've got my life back in order. I'm no longer on the streets. I have a brand new truck that's being rented. Um, and my boss is going to finance it and pay for it for me. Uh, the payments aren't bad. It's four twenty-five a month, so that's not bad at all. It's a brand new truck. Um, it's almost similar to what your grandfather had, but his wasn't the five point four uh, Triton. But, um, anyways, I hope that answers your question. <coughs> and for Jimmy. Um, you asked if you can borrow the snowmobile, and the answer is no. And the reason it's no is because it doesn't belong to me. Um, it belongs to my boss. And if he catches me uh, just letting everybody borrow it, and I'm going to get my ass in a sling. Um, if you want to call him, um, I'll message you his number. And if you... Uh, get his clearance. I'll more than happy bring it over after tomorrow and drop it off and pick it up when you're done. But you have to clear it through him first. I'm not going to burn my bridge on that. It's a brand new Polaris. Um, so you have to understand it's extremely fast. And I know you said you don't have much experience on a snowmobile. So all I can tell you um, is make very, very certain that you know how to control your speeds on the trails. You hit a ice fisher or a root coming across the trail, and if you get tossed, uh, that's going to be a disaster. Uh, oh, by the way, I almost fucking forgot. Um, I talked to your uh, ex-girlfriend, and she's going to be coming back out of New York. She wants to talk with you. She says she's tried to call you several times, but she can't get through on your phone. It goes directly to voicemail. Um, the way she explained it to me is that when she calls, it says that um, the caller is unavailable. Please leave a message. Press 1 after you're done for more options. So you might want to give her a call. Um, I'm going to text you her phone number just in case you don't have it. Uh, all I ask, and I hope I'm not overstepping my boundaries, I, I don't mean to, but I know you and her argued quite heavily uh, over finances. Um, as you clearly saw from Hollywood Slots uh, last week, you was there when I was playing poker. You saw that I won a lot of money and I cashed out. Um, if you really, truly, seriously need help financially, um, when I finish uh, doing what I got to do and uh, when I buy the land that you and I talked about, um, I'll help you out. But between now and then, I have my priorities, um, my job, the truck, uh, Ashley, our daughter. Um, I can't abandon uh, poker play. So... Like I said, I mean, if you really seriously need my help, uh, we'll sit down over dinner or supper and we'll talk. Um, but I don't want to get involved in your personal uh, involvement with your ex-girlfriend. I, I don't mean this in a bad way, but I'll just say it the only way I can. I don't want to get involved in it because I don't want to be involved in drama anymore. I'm getting my life in order, and I don't have time to, you know, basically deal with everybody else's stuff. If I can't take care of myself, I sure can't take care of anybody else. So right now, I'm taking care of me. Uh, oh, uh, you might want to check your uh, driveway. I drove by today, and there's a banded car in the ditch. I don't know if you noticed it already, but the time you get this video, you've probably already noticed it. The front end is all smashed up, so I think I had an accident, and I think the people that were driving or whoever was driving probably panicked and ran. Uh, just don't call the police unless there's blood. You know, just kind of, 
if you can just grab your truck and uh, pull it out of the ditch off to the side of the road and just turn the flashes on um, you know it'd be a good thing to help somebody out I just don't want to see somebody go to jail unless you know unless there's a serious issue of blood or stuff um, let's see who else do I need to talk to before I shut this video off oh uh, Lisa uh, sorry I haven't been calling you um, I have been busy um, you loaned me $20 uh, a long time ago I want to take care of that if I remember correctly it was Western Union or MoneyGram and I know they charge like five ten dollars whatever it is to send it so I'll be putting hundred dollars uh, to you um, Margaret uh, I'd like to help Nick out on his phone but um, I think it's time Chris steps up to the plate uh, and chooses to help uh, Nick out as opposed to buying weed uh, and uh, you know what I'm talking about um, if by chance uh, he can pull himself away from his games uh, long enough to to help Nick out that would be great um, I miss being there in Roanoke. Uh, I know you're in Rocky Mount, and that's quite a ways away, but um, I miss being down there. I miss Patterson Ave. Uh, there was a lot of memories down there, a lot of very good memories with me and Ashley, but there was also some bad memories, and those are still lingering. Um, as far as Mike Waller is concerned, uh, I don't hide this. I've told you very directly I'm not done with that son of a bitch, not after what he did to Ashley. Even if Ashley slaps me across the face, that's it. But she's back. <laughs> uh, so I'll let you... Uh... Hey, buddy. How, how'd it go? All right. Before I uh, show your face in this camera, is that okay? Yeah. All right. Hi. That's Jill. Yes, buddy. Yeah, they're going to be spending uh, the night here where it's warm so they don't have to stay in their car. Um, I can't see my friends sleeping in the streets. It's not the way I am. Um, it's 22 minutes, 47 seconds into the video. So I'll let you guys go. All my family and friends, I love you, especially my daughters. And Ashley, I love you and I miss you. And hopefully I'll see you soon.